guys, hey, hey, guys, guess what? A year ago, I posted my first video. That's right, it's Kim's Vlogiversary. So yeah, David here is gonna ask me questions about my old videos and see how much I remember about them. Less than 60% is a failure. If that happens, I have chosen a challenge for her to do in a future video. So let's go. Starting off with an easy one with question number one. Kim, what was the video that marked the debut of your famous theme song? How is that an easy one? Oh my God, I'm gonna fail this so bad. I don't even remember what the titles are after I post them. You expect me to remember them now? I, I, I can't even think of one in the right time frame. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say mountains or whatever. I have no idea. How is that an easy one? Oh my god, the other ones are harder. Question number two. Fill in the blank. If you don't blank it, who will? If you don't like it, who will? Ah, ah, I think I know that. I think that one's right. I, I, yeah, that's one. Through the use of annotations or word of mouth, who has been mentioned the most in your vlogs? John Garcia, Dan Resler, or Addy? Definitely John Garcia. John Garcia gets a lot of annotations because of the glasses thing and just because I think he's cool. Back in November 2010, you took part in Supernote, representing the trophy winning Team Beard. How long was your Supernote entry? 26.8 seconds or something like that. Name one of two videos that begins with a kitty in the basket. There's two of them? Well, I know I have my blue sweater on for one of them. Um, love the way the things fall apart. How many videos featured the infamous Comic Sans font? Too many. Like, I'm gonna guess four. In your coming home video, you said for your occupation day you should have been a professional jockey. What did you go as? A psychologist. I know that one. Which video has a description? This may be more embarrassing than my Dan rap. It's the one where I talk about the bathroom, I think. I don't remember titles! Something about public restrooms, I think? You know what this word means, but you don't know what the word is. It's not repetition, and it's not schedule. I remember filming this one, and I remember walking in like a crazy person. And I was just like, but, uh, but I don't know what the word is! Oh my god, I have no I I failed this so bad. I don't know what my challenge is, but this is gonna be terrible. When you were catching up in November 2010, you had your nails painted for Thanksgiving, but what holiday did you mistake it for? Easter? For the 2010 Project for Awesome, you submitted a video supporting giving blood for the Red Cross Foundation. What was your hairstyle in that video? Ooh, I know! I had a braid! You love your annotations, but which video had an annotation that linked to one of your cats trying to climb your door? I think I should have studied. I don't know, but I'm gonna guess a random one and go with ramble, ramble, ramble. What's the next line? Well, you guys don't seem excited. It was the Holocaust, lady! Forgive me for not being thrilled! What was the first video you told the munchkins to deal with a glasses vlog? I have no idea. Earlier this year, you won Playlist Live tickets and started to melt to the floor. But what colour was the scarf you were wearing? Purple. Duh. Currently to date, you have one Thoughts From Places video which covers Boston. Who was the director of the Boston City Lights that you introduced us to? His name is Duggan. Who were the first two winners of your first ever t-shirt competition? Hannah the Midge and Maddie J. Poe. At Play This Live, who was the non-Kim person to say, I'm not sunny and blinding anymore? Brendan Linwood. One of the first ever videos I watched of yours was the Battle of the Bots. What was the first annotation that went up in that video? I think it was the one where I said that it wasn't my friend's fault. I think I should get credit if I remember that much or something. I don't know. What's up? It's... <laughs> One of the things you have taught us in the past year is that thespians get no respect. In the first ever video covering this, what was the seventh hat you were wearing? Seventh hat? A bonnet. No, bonnet was at the beginning. Seventh hat? I'm just gonna go with the bonnet. Time to reveal a secret. Where is the annotated link that links to your secret hidden video? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What is the video that first introduced things people in my school say? I think I'm gonna go with catching up, but I don't think that's right. What is the video that made people assume you were Mika Kitty's sister? Thespians get no respect. The Drama Project Room. Earlier this year, you got featured on Buck Factor and made a video in response to it called Post Buck Factor. What was the ingredient you made a hissy fit over at the very beginning? Ingredient. So like food? Salt? Much like many other people, you attended the internet prom and you went with Hannah the Midge. What was the item she was holding during your dance? Sonic Screwdriver! How many times has Julia, Juju Beans 360 been featured in your videos? Twice! I've met her twice! When you made a video about the excitement of being partnered on YouTube, you did a temporal change within that video because you hate that particular thing. What was it? Did I turn the light off? 
In your video Little Kid Kim and Rude People, you drew a diagram to demonstrate the road crossing situation. What pen colour did you use? I'm gonna guess that it was purple. No, 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 it was a dark colour. Blue. Dark blue. That's my guess. Which video has the pre-intro line? If you don't use YouTube, how are you watching this? The follow-back situation. You recently did a collab video called The Button with the Gears Keep Turning. When you possessed his body, what shirt was he wearing? Pokemon! 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 <laughs> I remember! <laughs> I think! Or no! No, no, that's not even right, is it? No, he was wearing that when we were Skyping about it, wasn't he? Oh, I don't know! As of the 8th of September, you have uploaded 63 videos and excludes anything unlisted. Your videos have had varying lengths, but to the nearest 10 seconds, what has been the most frequent length of your videos? Okay, well, I've had some long ones. I've also had some really short ones. I'm gonna go with three minutes. I'm just gonna go flat. So yeah, that was terrible. Probably doing a challenge. David Cater, tell them what they've won! Kim, I've tallied up your answers and your final score was... 50%, that means you have failed. The resulting challenge that I've set out for you for a future video is that you must eat a whole pie. Yum, yum, yum. I hope that was funny enough that you don't mind the video being long. Please don't forget to vote today and I will see you all tomorrow.